This is Alin from Javelin, continuing to explore the new functionality for orientation introduced by SOLIDWORKS 2013. Allow me to press spacebar in order to get access to the orientation toolbar. And the first thing you'll notice is that whenever you hover over one of these icons, you get a nice preview of how your model is going to look like. So if I click on this, I know right away how my model is going to be oriented. The other thing that I like even more in the new functionality is the ability of saving custom views as global views. So allow me just to turn on the view selector for a moment in order to select the bottom right ISO view. So let me press spacebar one more time. I'm going to turn off the view selector now. And I'm going to save this view as exactly what I said, bottom right. ISO. This is nothing new. Uh, we had this functionality forever in SOLIDWORKS, uh, the ability of saving local views. But now you can declare this a global view. So this view would be, it's like a system option. It's going to be li listed under this saved views um, category and it's going to be available in any file open in SOLIDWORKS. So if I open, for example, this component and I press spacebar, as you can see in the save view list, I have this bottom right ISO and I can declare it now a local view to this uh, model. Let's uh, try to create uh, another uh, view, maybe this area where the clip is going to be mounted. So I'm just going to declare the current view, clip mounting view. As you can see, this is local. If I hit save, it's going to become a global view. Let's go back to the assembly. I'm going to press spacebar, and I'm going to bring this clip mounting view as a local view to this assembly. And there you go. Now, if by uh, any reason you don't want to share a specific view to all the files in SOLIDWORKS, you can turn it off or remove it from the saved view list. So I'm going to delete this view from SOLIDWORKS. Now if I open, for example, this component and I press spacebar, I no longer have that view available as a global view. I hope you like the new functionality for orientation introduced by 2013 SOLIDWORKS and you will incorporate it in your uh, daily workflows. Tomorrow we'll discuss about what's old in SOLIDWORKS 2013 orientation just because there are other workflows that are just as powerful and uh, not all of them are very well known. So please come back tomorrow.